All right, YouTube, today we're gonna do our project on how we're gonna secure our panels, you know, to the ground to prevent them from, uh, you know, blowing away. And ironically, you know, it's a pretty windy day. Okay, not enough wind that's gonna blow them away, but it's a little bit windy today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out, we need some of these 3 sixteenths uh by 24 washers got all this stuff from home depot or these eyelets with nuts and then we need six of these six eyelets so two in each pack and then we need uh 12 washers to go with those okay then we're gonna need a couple of these uh these quick and secure things we can screw into the ground in order to connect our cables to. Then I got uh, 21 foot of this 332nd, you know, coated cable. And then got some uh, fasteners here. These are going to be able to fasten the side that's going to, uh, the non-permanent side that's going to hook to our, uh, you know, our, our, our ground screws. These are going to make a loop that we could hook a, car a carabiner, we could hook, uh, you know, a chain link or a padlock to. Also, I got some of these uh, ones that you can, uh, you know, put on there and bolt down to make the proper length. Okay, so now that we got all our stuff, let's get started. Okay, YouTube, I've. Uh, used uh, this uh, connector here and I've made a, a couple inch loop in uh, in our cable for one end that's going to hook to our padlock or however we're going to secure it. I had gotten uh, this is 332nd cable and these uh, connectors are 332nd but they are coated so it is really tight. It took a lot of work to get this in there. I'm going to use this, uh, this is for, uh, you know, making, uh, you know, the, uh, the high voltage DC cables and I'm going to go ahead and try to use this to, uh, crimp, to crimp our cable. So I got it in there. See, I got it set in there. So now let's see if we can, uh, Crimp this down. Get it turned sideways. Try to crimp it down again. Okay, I mean, we got it crimped down pretty good. Let's uh, do it on this side. Make sure we're crimped all the way around. All right, it's not the prettiest looking thing, but I think it'll work well. Okay, before we go any farther, let's make sure we can get it through our eyelet because that's why when we put it on, we'll have to feed it through there. So get it through here. Oh, fits right through there. No problem. All right, let's go to the next step. Okay, the next thing we got to do is install some eyelets. I already got some on here. I got one in towards the middle. The one on this far end of the middle panel. And we're going to install one more right here. Okay, we're going to need an eyelet, two washers, and a nut. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the first washer on there. And then there's two holes. There's only one right here, and then there's one down on the other end. I wish there was one in the middle, but there isn't. So we're gonna put it through the hole. Once I get it through the hole, I'm gonna to need to put the washer around on the other side. All right, now here's the tough part, reaching up in there with this nut and not dropping it like I did getting the nut over the end of the eye screw and then 
turning it to get it started. All right, we got it started. Now I'm just gonna turn this and tighten it down till the eyelet is straight up and down. All right, so now it's straight up and down. You see that there, it's straight up and down. And now we can start going to the next step. All right, the next step is to get our corkscrew in the ground, but it hasn't rained here in a while and this ground is like concrete. So I'm gonna have to get something to help me, you know, put it in there. Okay, I got a mallet here to help me. So let's see if we can get it in there. Gonna push down and be able to turn. It's getting there. Uh, this is hard. Up. Oh, look at that. Told you that was grand, hard. Was ground was hard. I'm gonna have to get something uh, a little bit stronger. Actually, uh, found a piece of rebarb in my garage. I was able to get that down in there and kind of semi under so when it's folded down, you know, the uh, lawnmower won't hit it. Okay, I fed my cable now through all three of the eyelets and we're going to basically connect it back to this center post uh, like a big triangle. So first thing we're going to do is start off by connecting the loop here to the post with our securing method. Okay, I got it connected with a small padlock that I'm going to use. Got the other loose end fed through. I'm going to measure and cut it with a, probably around five inches of uh, slack so that it, it can be adjusted if needed. All right, I got it cut with uh, my diagonal cutters. So now we need to uh, put like the, uh, the the crimp on, uh, not the crimp on, but the uh, the end with the you know the nut and bolts to make a more permanent uh, fitting on the end here, and uh, you know pull it tight to set the right length. Okay, here's the kit we're going to use, but we're not going to use this uh, you know this metal piece because we wouldn't be able to get it around our post. You know we can't because it's closed at one end. So we're just going to use these two clamps to go ahead and set the the proper tension and uh, clamp it down. So let's go ahead and do that. Hey YouTube. Yeah, I had to come in the house for a little bit because you know I failed to mention that if we look at it, it's 102 outside today and I was making this video and I got a message on my iPhone saying the iPhone was too hot and it wasn't gonna work anymore until it cooled off. So I had to come inside. I, you know, it's the heat wave that's moving through the middle of the country. Okay, the, the can't, the, the phone is cooled down now, so see we got our clamps on. We got you know, you don't need a lot of you don't need a lot of tension on this to hold it down on the ground. And we got all these the screws tightened down with our crescent wrench. So basically it's a it's a triangle. Okay. The one modification I think I'm gonna make is I'm gonna put get extra out eyelets and I'm gonna put one right here at this hole. So there's the center, there's three panels here. So the center panel will have two eyelets for the wire and then one on either of the uh, the end ones. Okay, and then it just attaches like a big triangle. So that way if the wind blows, you know, it'll catch it and you know, drop it back down. All right, the next part of the video is gonna be from a drawing I made about a more semi-secure, you know, it's still portable, but more of a semi-secure, semi-permanent type of uh, setup for your panels. Okay, the, the, the second and uh, last method I'm gonna talk about is uh, two parts. One, it's got this uh, upper, you know, frame, you can get it from Ecoworthy on YouTube or on excuse me eBay, and then this like wooden cart that can be you know unplugged and moved around. So first thing is uh, Ecoworthy makes this uh, T 
tilt mount brackets complete solar panel adjustable where you can actually adjust it for different times of the year and yeah, so we look here if you put the when you're putting in this uh, back post here you know if you put it in these different hole settings you get between 30 and 45 degrees depending on the year so what you would need to do is uh, assemble you know this this will handle you know either four 100 or four 200 you know watt panels you can put on here and you could probably get some uh it's made of this um unistrut type material you can probably pick up some you know extra at walmart and even kind of modify this to get even more panels on it if you wanted to be that uh ambitious but the second part is this sled so the sled is made out of like a like two by twelves you know the, uh, the length would have to be determined on you know what size this is going to be you know so you would have to decide what you're going to do with this first and then you can decide the overall length of your like sled here and then you would cut round off you know the ends of your two by twelves like a sled that way if you need when you, you want to move it across your yard you got these two pull handles like ropes on either end you just unhook your solar cables you grab the rope and you can drag it to wherever your new position is going to be so you, like i said you got two by 12s on either side cut like uh, you know uh, rounded like a sled and then some two by 12 in the center here centered up and this is where these are going to lag bolt down onto those so you'll probably want to you know uh put it on there pick the angle you want and then mark some put some holes in there for you know when you want to move it to a different angle then you can move it and the lag bolts will go in new holes okay so that'll be on here so you'll have holes here holes here holes here and holes here for those braces and then the width of this is going to be actually determined by once you get this you know put it together and measure what this is all going to be and then you got like a two by ten and a two by ten or even could be a two by eight in the front to help the structure and also hook your uh your pull ropes to and then down three spots in the middle and in between each one you can see it's screwed in from the side these are two by fours which are going to give that a uh, you know lateral stabil stability to it not only being connected on the top but through the middle too so the thing the thing won't like tilt like this and then you'll you know you'll put your frame on there and lag bolt it down and put your panels on and uh, i think that just the sheer weight of this thing no matter where you put it i don't unless there's a tornado or a, you know a class uh, four hurricane i don't think it's going to go anywhere so uh, a viewer had asked for uh this information and uh it took me a little while to come up with the ideas and uh, get the material and put it together but i want to you know thank you guys for being patient while i'm doing this Again, thank you to Cool Space for uh, suggesting this video. Remember, like and subscribe and hit that notification button so you can get uh, the videos when they're new. Bye-bye.